Hey YouTube out there, this is Kevin Strong and welcome to another episode of The Kevin Strong Show. And in this video, we're gonna talk about are you gonna really have to work until you die? What a horrible thing to think about, but it is a reality for a lot of people out there. So before I get into the information down here, I kinda wanna talk about the uh, situation because there's a lot of people who just can't wait to retire. They're looking at their watch and they just can't wait to that day where they can walk into their job and tell their boss, take this job and shove it. But it seems like that mindset is associated with people more so in the middle class on down. People who would really enjoy what they do on average or even beyond the normal age of retiring, let's say over the age of 62, we don't seem to look at those folks as wasting their life away. Take for example, if you're a sports fan, someone like Bill Belichick, who's over, I think he's 70 now, You've heard of Warren Buffett, who is over the age of 80, that has more money than 15 lifetimes. On the younger side, you have someone like Elon Musk, who's considered one of the richest men in the world. But we don't ever vilify those individuals, particularly the older uh, people that I mentioned, about why are they still working? Because they probably enjoy it. Like I said, it's probably the middle class or the lower middle class that has that mindset that they can't wait to retire. And I'm here to tell you for most people that fall into that bracket, they probably shouldn't retire because what happens is that you initially have that euphoria of not having to work, enjoying yourself, but you're on a fixed income and over a period of time, inflation will eat away at that income. And all of a sudden, 10 years later, that money doesn't stretch as far as it did 10 years previously. And equally importantly, equally important is that your health starts to deteriorate right at the same time when your money just doesn't stretch as far as it normally does. So I'm going to go through some stats and talk about an article that I pulled up that kind of brings this all together. And hopefully it'll wake some of you guys up to take a proactive approach about your retirement. As it said in one article, I think about 30 days ago, uh, people spend more time planning a vacation than they do retirement. So here's the average savings in America based on an age group, 35 and below, um, 11,000, uh, 35 to 44 years old, 28,000, 45 to 54, 48,000, 55 to 64, $58,000 in savings, and 65 and over, $60,000. Now, the average income in America is only approximately $35,000. So even at the age bracket of 65 years of age and older, you could only maintain the average medium uh, income in the United States for less than two years. Horrible situation. Social Security, the average Social Security check effective January of this year, it's about $1,600. The average rent is about $1,200. So if you look at the rent for 2022 and compare that to Social Security in 2022, that's only leaving you $450. It doesn't leave much for utilities, food, and miscellaneous expenses. And if that doesn't scare you, there's some reports out there that are saying by 2034, Social Security will be completely insolvent. So if you're relying solely on Social Security to provide you some type of comfort or nest egg as you approach your golden years, uh, you may want to rethink your plan or you may fall into the category, as so many Americans uh, are, that you're going to have to work until the day you die. Now, before I dive into this article, I'm gonna share my opinion about this. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you like this content, if you find it uh, engaging and thought provoking, please do me a great favor. Please subscribe to my channel, comment and share because I care. So once again, before I dive into this article that I wanna to talk to you guys about, here's my take, here's my proverbial two cents about the retirement thing. I don't care if I have to work until the day I die, if that's what it takes to sustain my quality of life. OK, I'd rather work and have a quality of life. However, on the other side of that, if you retire traditionally, let's say at 62 or 65 and you don't have enough money to retire, most folks are going to regret that decision. And that's what this article is all about. It's called U.S. Retirement. This article is about a um, about a month old. And it talks about this lady named Maria Rios. She's 75 years old and she's been working at the Phoenix International Airport for about 17 years. And she makes $14.50 an hour. So she makes about $30,000 a year. She's 75. Her husband's also retired 
It doesn't say what his age is, but he only brings in $400 a month in social security benefits. So collectively between the husband and the wife, they have a household income of about $35,000 and both of these individuals are over the age of 70. Uh, just a really, really tragic situation here, very sad. Here's some other information I'd like to share with you in terms of people who are really old that probably should be retired and enjoying themselves, but because of economic realities, they have to continue to work. Uh, media reports of older workers have often been framed as feel-good stories, such as uh, a viral news report of an 89-year-old pizza delivery man who uh, received a $12,000 tip that was raised by a customer basically out of pity, um, out of remorse. An 84-year-old woman who started a new job, new job at 84, not 24, 84. Um, she started a new job um, as a motel housekeeper in Maine in July of 2020. An 81-year-old woman in Ohio who volunteered to start working for her favorite restaurant in November of 2021 because it shut down temporarily due to an inability to hire, uh, hire and retain enough staff. Okay, well, that, that was more just a, you know, wanting something to do. But a lot of these folks are forced to work even though they don't want to. By 2040, the U.S. population of adults ages 65 and older is expected to increase to 81 million from 54 million in 2000. In 19. And if that doesn't still scare you, here is a doctor who's a, chiro a chiropractor out of Hawaii. She's 65 years old and she says, I don't even own my own home and I've been renting for 15 years. She put herself through school and she's a single mother and quote, there's just no way I can afford to retire. So nearly 9 million Americans ages 50 and older still have student loan debt. And the amount owed by the demographic is growing faster than any other age group. In 2015, 40,000 Americans had their social security check benefits garnished from student loans. And I talked about that briefly in my student loan um, video. So I'm going to wrap this up a little bit. But more importantly, I hope this gets you to thinking. Think about real estate, think about rental property, thinking about understanding how to uh, create a business online, passive income that doesn't require you to be there in person or is not so labor intensive. On average, your mind will last longer than your body for most of us. So you're going to have to kind of reinvent yourself in this new technology age that we live in. So I hope you found this video in a good place. Pay down your debt before your debt gets a hold of you. Keep your debt down and your credit score up. I hope you enjoyed this video. And once again, please comment and share. And this was the Kevin Strong Show. And I'll see you in the next video.